Hey everybody, it's Brooke with Super Tutor TV, and today I'm going to tell you about my number one secret tip for the ACT reading section. The number one tip that I have, and you might already know this, especially if you've had any prep whatsoever so far, you probably already know this, is that the reading section is evidence-based. Meaning that if you choose an answer choice, there is some line in the passage that is amazingly good evidence that supports what you're picking. One of the biggest mistakes that a lot of students make, especially if they're scoring in say the mid 20s, the low 20s, or even below that, is that oftentimes they are reading the passage, trying to remember everything, and then doing all the questions. But guess what? Multiple choice on a standardized test is not the same as the kind of quiz that your teacher is going to give you in school when he or she is trying to just prove that you did the homework last night and read the chapter. You don't have to memorize stuff here. It's open book. And because of that fact, you need to approach the questions differently. And the best way to approach the reading questions is to read the passage, read the question, look at your choices, then go back and find evidence. Meaning if it says lines blah, 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 the lines blah, 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 right? Go back to those lines, read those lines, and in fact, read a little bit above, read a little bit below, find some context. And then you're going to be able to answer the question, but you've got to look at the evidence. That's my best advice. Make sure, again, to Find evidence to support every answer choice that you choose. Now, that being said, one little caveat with this, and, and that is that it is really tough to finish this test in time. So I know some students who say, yeah, I can get everything right on the reading if I just slow down. And well, that might actually be a good place to start. If you're finding yourself running out of time and that's why you just keep guessing on everything, try actually slowing down and doing it such that you do find the evidence so that you feel what it feels like in order to find those things. And then hopefully you can speed that process up for yourself. In any case, I hope you like this video. Hopefully you can go off into the world and use evidence to help you on the ACT reading section. Subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up, check out our website, supertutortv.com. We've got lots more awesome ACT and other subject matter tips for you. I will see you all next time. Ciao, ciao.